hi everyone it's Tolani and welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a while uploaded video here on my youtube channel i've been busy working for my client so you guys should please pardon me for that so today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create the reality youtube studio for your youtube video right inside no video editing app using the 3d room effect to take your video from something that look like this to something that look like this so without further ado let's dive in all right now we are on the no video editing app interface so really quick tip for those of you asking me how can you change your team you know video editing app so i'm going to show you that right now so you want to come down to your your home then you're going to come down to these settings right here and you can see right here you have color team you can change it to whatever you like as you can see it's going to change the color to whatever you wish it to be as you can see and this will also apply in the word in the editing field as you can see right here everything has a appear in that golden yellow so as you can see when i open it up this is the team that i'm going to be using everything right here has changed the color instantly so if you like that you can change that is where you can change your team straight away but for this tutorial sake i love the dark team this is it so i'm gonna be going back right there and let's start the tutorial um so right now i'm gonna be importing the first thing so now right now the first thing you're gonna be doing is to import the background you want something that you need your floor because the object is gonna be standing on the floor so i'm gonna be importing the floor right now So right now i've imported this floor right here so what you're gonna be doing now is as you can see this is on a vertical mode so you want it to be in the in the horizontal mode so first thing you have to do is to come down right there to this box right here and you're gonna click on what on this box right here which will bring this into 3d model where you can change the x and y and z as x so right now i'm gonna be setting this as a floor i'm gonna be coming down to rotation and set my rotation down to 0.25 hit okay right now as you can see it has disappeared but actually it's still on the field right there so i'm gonna be coming to my position and increase this up a little bit as you can see it right there this, this is the plane right here i'm creating the floor so right now i've created the first background which is the floor where the object is gonna be lying or staying on so i'm gonna be making sure that these occupy a lot of space right here i don't want to see these empty spaces right here i want it to fully so i'm gonna be coming down to scale and increase this scale right to 3.96 to be precise as you can see it has occupied all those space right there so what you're gonna be doing now right now is to bring in the background and the side of the studio so what we're going to be doing now is to bring the left and right and the background of your youtube studio how you want the studio to look like so it depends on how you want it to be but this is how you're going to be creating this right now so i'm going to be clicking on this plus icon and head on to my media and now i have these uh I have this new new uh is it new i've done i don't know the pronunciation the noir effect i have this noir effect background right there which i'm gonna be importing right now so now as you can see right now i have this new effect right here this effect actually is not in the 3d model as i like i said you always make sure it's in the 3d model as you can see it's not in the 3d model because if it's not in the 3d model there's no way you can actually achieve this reality so what you want to click on is to come to this box and set it to 3d as you can see it's now in 3d plane all you have to do now is to increase the scale make sure you increase the scale and set this back bring it to the background because you want to set it as background so increase your scale as well the scale and um, please bring it up a little bit so you don't want it to be here. okay and send it back a little bit and make it sit right here good increase the scale a little bit because you want to create that awesome effect to look more reality all right i think it's okay right there so what i want to do now is come down here and rename this so you don't get confused as we move forward i'm going to be naming this as b b means background so i don't get confused so what we're going to be doing now is to duplicate this same effect right here you come to this and hit duplicate 
so now you've duplicated the effect so all you want to do now is to uh, is to come down to the uh to the rotating aspect which is the y axis right here and you want to come down as you can see i can rotate this to my left or right so depending on whatever you want it to first but for this let me start with the with the right and i'm going to be aligning it with one of these grid line in the floor so to have that perfect as you can see i've had oh sorry i'm going to make sure i align it now it's as aligned so i can now then move it to the sideways as you can see i move it to the sideways right here to create that studio effect right here i think that's here so i'm going to bring it down a little bit to match with the other one right there so what i want to do next is on this b right here you want to change the name to uh left so you don't get confused uh sorry to right right here right and click ok so now i've turned that to right i'm gonna be getting the right again so because i want the other left side so i'm gonna remove this to left so you don't get confused it okay so now i've set that to left so all i want to do now is to what is just to move it right to my left to create the 3d effect right here as you can see i've created a 3d room uh right here i think right here is i don't if depend on what you want if you want it to be more bigger you can do that as well you can as well bring this so that you can have that uh cover up good i set this down a little bit as well so now this is the first step you have to know how to create so i've created the 3d right here so what i'm gonna be doing next right now is to come to group and group this which means you want to pre-compose them into one all right sorry all right i've pre-composed that into one group so all i want to do next is come down to this object this image which is the floor right here i'm going to come down to more and set this to a uh, multiplicative so that will bring this into black mode right here so next thing you're going to be doing course we want this to reflect on the floor because there's no way a light is going to be what on be on the wall without reflecting around right here so you can do it one after the other but i'm going to be doing it as a pre-composed reflection so i'm going to be clicking on this group right here and come down to this and duplicate right away so now i've duplicated this right here so all i'm going to be doing now is to drag this and send it to the back of this clip right here so as you can see i have some reflection right in this side of this piece so what i'm going to be doing now is to click on this effect this uh, is to click on this reflection right here and make sure you are on the mode so you can just come down here and increase the scale sorry since you are not on the 3d you have to make sure it's bring it to the 3d mode so now you have the 3d so you can now scale it to the front as you can see you can see it's gonna bring in that reflection right there as you can see it it's gonna reflect the light on the floor which is pretty simple right compared to some of the other creators i think they do it one after the other you can group it and just reflect it right there so as you can see right now i've created a reflection of the light from the wall and right from the objects right from the wall from the source base to the base of the ground so now what you're gonna be doing now is very simple you want to bring the object right here which is you you're gonna you want to frame yourself in green screen or whatever screen you use so we're gonna bring it right there with with the table so you can have your presentation in well professional whether you are a gamer or whatever you're doing so i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do that right now close this up and come to this plus icon then i'm gonna be coming down to my media where i store the video i'm gonna be using straight away so as you can see right here um i have my video right here this woman talking i'm gonna be clicking on it and bring her in to the scene so now it's already inside the scene but because it's not in 3d that is why it's not appearing in the 3d field so what i'm gonna be doing is to click on this to bring her into the 3d scene so what i'm gonna be doing right now is to what is to make sure this who this human right here doing his presentation is well scaled so we want it to be well scaled so to do that i'm gonna be coming down to my scale and scale this up to 1.9 i think 1.9 7 is a very good scale for that i'm gonna click okay 
as you can see i've scaled her up to this extent so we want to send our deposition back to what about two point something so about one point something sorry so she will look more about zero points maybe let's say 15 about 0 0.15 i think right here uh and then position your position should be something around somewhere here good so now i can as well bring it bring her up a little bit right here um let me just increase this to about 15 uh so let me just leave it right there i think it's perfect right here uh good so now as you can see i have to remove this blue screen right here to do that you're going to come down to this plus icon then go to mask then you go to chroma key chroma key as you can see right here is set to green so i'm going to be changing this green to blue so it's going to relocate that instantly so to make it to look more professional without notice you want to come down to this intensity this red intensity and pop it up a little bit and as well your alpha clip as well you want to don't do it too much because it's gonna be what crunching the image right away so i think that is good right here so you can play around with that tools as well so what i'm gonna be doing now is since i have my object sitting down right on the floor in the 3d model as you can see it right here as you can see i'll be sitting now on the 3d model so all i'm going to do is that i downloaded this 3d model for a table so you as well you can download that i put the link to everything i use in this description and for those of you that you have been supporting me on my patreon i really appreciate you guys for and for those that i haven't know i have a Patreon page where you can support me and download so many no video presets that you can use for fast editing i put the link to my patreon page down below every asset and preset right there is free so you guys can go down to my patreon and appreciate those work and use all the presets for free in your new video editing app so what i'm going to be doing now is to bring in the 3d model i'm going to be clicking on this and go to my 3d and go to import so this will take me down to where i put the file i'm going to be going down to download um i have my fbs then i'm going to be screening down to look for this all right so now it's importing the video so this is the this is something like it doesn't look like a table but it's a book lying on a, a flat surface so what i'm gonna be doing now is to click on it and drag this all the way down right here as you can see everything is now looking professional so let me increase this so you can see it properly so what i'm gonna be doing now is as you can see i can properly increase this i don't want to cover up my objects or show it down so people could get noticed very easily so this is an amazing as you can see right here if you gain value out of this video so far please give this video thumbs up like and subscribe for more so as you can see right here i've done that as a table but you need to make sure this look more professional so you're gonna come down to customer then you go to material or you set this to what a car a mat cap as you can see so you can as well change this m1 to uh i use a lot of this so you can just figure out which one is best for you i set it to this as you can see it's giving this cripsy just like this light reflecting and this light as well reflecting on it and the silly light as well reflecting so this is what you want to do right here so let's play this and let's see what we've done so far with this and let's see how it look that's amazing right so as you can see on our timeline right here the video actually is a short length so for you to do that you can just click on this and drag every of your effects to match with your objects as you can see right here this is the group don't worry about the group that will actually match the object so i'm gonna click on this and drag it to match um then this is another group right here so you can as well scale the group by just clicking on it and make sure that every of your video actually match the exact place that you mark on the as you can see it right there you can just open them up and make sure everything has matched all right right there so when you go back as you can see everything is now much even the group as you can see it's right here so it depends on what you want so i don't want to just so that's how you want you want to do that so let me just undo that and come down right here 
so as you can see i'm having some kind of light right here which is reflecting from the back so all i want to do is to locate where my back is in the this is the open it up so that's why i say you should name it so you don't get confused this is the back so i'm going to be coming down here right here and what increase this up a little bit as you can see i have covered that one showing behind that right here. i've covered it up so i'm going to cover that up so that's how you can do that so you can close this up um all right so now you have that amazing youtube reality studio for your video so let's view this again so this is an amazing youtube reality studio no one could ever notice and if you notice leave down a comment down below and let's see what you feel about this youtube studio for your youtube video all right since everything is all right since everything has been set and we've created this amazing reality studio all we want to do right now you can trim all these parts that you don't that the image or your video is not showing up so to remain this on your on your video clip so since you have all of these right here all you want to do right now is to export your videos to upload to youtube video so i'm going to click in on the export button then i'm going to be setting these to high resolutions right here so to give you a very high definition videos so i'm going to be setting this you can leave this to high or very high depending on your memory ram as well so you don't have that glitch effect so right now as you can see i'm gonna be exporting this for those that need this effect preset all you have to do is to go to my patreon page and download this preset i put the link to my patreon page right in the video description it's free so you can download it and just import your video to sit right here on this page so make sure to subscribe hit the like button and stay tuned for more tutorial about no video editing app i love you guys stay tuned and bye for now